my children how are you today i hope that you're having a good time at home my name is teacher lois i'll be taking you through the bible lesson for today i hope that you're ready before we begin our lesson i would like us to pray so put your hands together close your eyes bow your head and pray our father and our god we come before you with thanksgiving in our hearts we thank you for how you have taken good care of us thank you for giving us another chance to listen to your word help us to be attentive help us to be able to understand and help us to be able to put into practice what you're going to teach us today and we pray this believing and trusting in jesus name amen so a bible lesson today we are going to learn that god wants us to be kind to be kind is to show love to other people to show other people that you care and to share with other people so when you do good things to other people when you share when you show love to them it shows that you're kind and we're going to learn about two people in the bible so there's a man called abram so abram is abraham before his name was changed his name was changed from abram to abraham so from this story he's being referred as abram so we're going to call him abram okay yeah so now abram together with his lord and his wife they went to a place called canaan and God had blessed them. They had so many animals and they had so many servants. So Abram was a rich man and Lot too had a lot of animals as well. Now, where they were staying, there was no enough grass. You know, animals feed on grass and they also drink water. So there's no enough grass for the animals and there was no enough water for the animals. So what happened? The servants started quarreling. What's to quarrel? They used to argue, no, this is our place. No, we are the ones who came here first. So they were arguing. And you know, Abraham was not happy about that. He didn't like to see people quarreling. So what he did, he told um, Lot, he called Lot. And then they went somewhere on top of a hill. And then he told Lot, Lot, I'd like us to separate. I'd like you to go to your own place and I'll also go to my own place. So I want you to choose the place where you want to go to. So uh, Lot, he chose a place. That place, it was looking so nice. It was the plains of Jordan. They were looking so nice. There was a lot of grass and there was plenty of water so when not looked at it like that he said wow i want to go to this place so he he chose that place okay and that place i tell you something about that place it was not a nice place it was not really a nice place because the people who used to live there there was a city of Sodom and a city of gomorrah it was people who used to live there they were bad people they used to do terrible things yeah and i don't think god was happy about that but you know um Lord, he just said, I think this is the best place for me and my family. So he decided to move that place together with his animals. And then there, they went, they pitched a tent, and then they started living there. And then after they went there, a God called Abram. And he told Abram to look at the other side. He told him, I want you to look at this place. You see, all oh, this place, I've given it to you. It's going to be yours. And I'm going to bless you. I tell you something about Abraham. He did not complain. He didn't say, No, my place doesn't look nice like Lord's place. He didn't complain. He just decided, he just said it's okay. So he moved to that place. So he went and he pitched a tent. So they were staying in tents, not in houses. So they, he went and pitched a tent and um he moved in there together with his wife and his animals and his servants and they continued stay there and you know god was very happy because of abraham he continued blessing him the way he had just promised him and then um he that place was called hebron where abraham went to stay together with his uh, family and his animals it was called 
Hebron, all right? Yeah, and then he went there. You know, he's just thanked God. He made an altar and he worshipped God. He thanked God. So what you're learning from this story is that we need to be kind. Even when other people are not kind to us, it's good for us to be kind. You see, Abram, he never complained. He never fought with Lord that you have chosen the best place. He never said that. But he just showed kindness. He was a calm man. He was obedient. So even us, we should show kindness to other people when other people do bad things to us we should not do bad things to them all right when people are call us bad names we should not call them bad names when people beat us we don't beat them back we don't fight back okay but we just choose to be kind we just choose to show love to other people and then when you do that you're going to be blessed because that's what happened to abram abram was blessed okay yeah because he was kind so children are you going to practice kindness yeah show love to other people be kind to other people do not do bad things to other people even when they do bad things to you and that is the end of our lesson today and i want us to sing that song that says i want to be like jesus deep down in my heart you know even jesus was a very kind man yeah he was kind he was showing love to other people he was showing kindness to other people so can you sing that song I want to be like Jesus, deep down in my heart. I want to be like Jesus, deep down in my heart. So deep, deep, so down, down, so deep down in my heart. So deep, deep, so down, down, so deep down in my heart. Our memory verse is from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32. Be kind to one another. So let us say all of us together, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32, be kind to one another. Right. So let's put our hands together, we pray. Lord, we come before you with thanksgiving once again in our hearts. Thank you for the good lesson that you have taught us. Lord, please help us to be kind to other people. And we pray this, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. That is the end of our lesson today. Bye and have a nice week.